Hey everybody, my name is Jennifer. This is Metatrona speaking. I'm going to be doing oracle cards today. Uh, we're going to be working with Merlin because that is who decided to come forward for this. I have five different oracle card decks. I've been told how many cards for each one already. Are we going to start with the left and go to the right? Okay. So I have some new decks today. I have a Fairy Wisdom Oracle deck that was a gift. My business partner Susan sent it to me, so that was exciting. So I'm going to be doing three. My face is already itching. Oh my goodness. Yes, Merlin's all lined up and ready to go. I'm going to be doing three cards from this deck. Oh, one fell out, so that'll be one of them. Let's go ahead and get the other two. Because sometimes that helps me understand the message. I literally just dropped a ton of cards. Did you want any of these that I dropped? This one? No, no, no. You want this one, don't you? Yep, okay. All right, we have our three cards. So I'm going to put the deck down. You know what? I'm going to show the cards to you first, and then I'm going to figure them out. We'll see how this goes. See if I can read. Summer dragon. So it's a blue dragon. Almost has like fairy wings on it. Check out the butterflies. Okay. That's card number one. What are you telling me? What are you telling me? Oh, he's make, gonna make me work so hard on these cards. So that was summer dragon. Does, is this the second card? This is the second card, okay. Autumn, showing a fairy. So we have summer and then autumn. And then a blue fairy. I feel like this is not, there we go. Huh, I literally have no idea where he's going with this. So Merlin, please tune in and help me out. Oh, I don't like this at all. Why are you showing me this? He's showing me, um, is it like you want me to? Okay, okay. So he's showing me. So remember, we have Summer Dragon here. So summer, what comes after summer? Autumn. And then he's showing me, you know, what comes after autumn? Winter. He didn't pull me a winter card, but he pulled the energy of a winter card. He pulled the energy of cold and dark, right? And so I'm like, why are you showing me this progression from summer, which is pleasant because we have like the butterflies and the flowers. And then why are we progressing over to here? What are you trying to tell me? And he's showing me, you know, seasons, cycles. Everything is a cycle. Everything is a season. So wherever you are now, you know, if you're somewhere good, if you're in summer right now, good. That's, that's great that you're there. But be aware that everything changes. And so things might be going really smoothly right now, but there's a season for everything. There's a there's a time for everything. So this is a supportive message for everyone who feels like they are in a personal winter or professional winter or an emotional winter. If you feel like you're in the dark and you're in the cold right now, hang on. This is a season. This is a cycle. Spring does come. Summer does come. Everything that you plant and you invest will come up in the spring and the summer and the fall for you to, you know, fall for you to harvest. So there's, there's a, the message is there's a time for everything. There's a time for everything. So if you're in a good time, value it, appreciate it, have gratitude for it. And if you're in a not good time right now, hang on, it won't last forever. Okay. 
So that was the first message. This deck um, is going to be my Whispers of Healing Oracle cards. These are ones that are really pretty with all the watercolors on them. Okay, he wants two cards from this. This is, no, okay, I pulled a card. He's like, I don't want that one. Why did you take that one? Okay, I must have been really close to what you wanted, yeah. And these ones stick together. So I'm gonna try to be, I feel like you want something here. Do you want this one? No? Mm. All right, I'm out of touch with Merlin today. We're not, oh, 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 oh. he threw cards out. He threw a bunch of cards out, but he only wants two. I have, these are so thick. I have four cards. This one, yes. Do you want it? No. Okay, so I got one card. Let's see what else we can get. This one? Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to show you the cards first. Hopefully there's not too much glare on this one. Sorry, I'm like trying to get my head in here and the card. It says unexpected. There's a little child who's come down from a staircase and has unexpectedly discovered this beautiful fantasy world with fairies and butterflies and all this magical stuff. And the second card he gave me says receive healing all i can see from here is it's really beautiful colors looks like we have an angel oh wow so it's an angel it's a child in a bed this angel is holding a symbol of healing which we use in the united states at least i don't know if they use it everywhere or not but it's two snakes that are like crisscrossing that we use it on a lot of our Medical symbols here. Okay, man. <laughs> I was going to say Metatron. Okay, Marilyn, help me out here. Where are we going? The other interesting thing I'm noticing about this card, and I don't know if you guys can see it at all because it's really fine level detail, is that Part of this angel's body right here, it's um, it's showing DNA strand. It's showing a double helix, which is the same kind of energy and movement as the healing. Okay. I'm going to have to tune into him for a second. Okay. He's talking about when we have, we have, as an adult, as an adult, we often have these expectations and these limitations around who we feel we are, what we think we're capable of, what we think we like. We have all these labels for ourselves, right? And with each label, we give ourselves a box. I'm a woman, so this is how I behave. I am I have this job, so this is how I behave. And so we're limiting ourselves. We have a certain set of expectations. He wants us to be aware that there's a whole lot more to each of us than we are recognizing we are limiting ourselves because we're saying okay this is okay this is what i you know this is the box that i'm in and this is what i think is all i have and all that's acceptable and this is all my the abilities i think i have and this is all the wants and needs and this is everything I think I am, but we're giving ourselves like half of a picture and there's all this other stuff to explore and to be and to feel. So he's asking us to open our minds and 
not put ourselves in those categories, in those limitations that are stopping us from seeing all these things about ourselves that we didn't expect. You know, I did not expect to have a lifetime that involved channeling angels. That was never something that was going to happen ever, right? Here I am. So we all have all options on the table. It's not like only some of us are allowed to channel and only some of us are allowed to be successful and only some of us are allowed to whatever, fill in the blank, right? We all have the same amount of opportunities and all of the opportunities are open to us. They are infinite. They are abundant. So don't tell yourself, oh, no, I can't do that. I don't do that well enough. I like painting and I like doing this, but no one else is going to like it. Quit telling yourself that. You're putting yourself in this, this box. Allow yourself to be surprised. Allow yourself to discover unexpected things about the world and about yourself. All right, so he really wanted to chat about that card. The other card is receive healing. He wants us to look. How do I put this into words? He gives me ideas and I have to find words for them. And so that's what the struggle is with channeling. He wants us to be introspective. He wants us. To look at ourselves honestly, the behaviors we have, the faults we have, struggles we have. He wants us to try to assess ourselves more honestly because those are the items that need healing the most. So, Whatever your emotional struggles are, your physical struggles are, whatever the thoughts you tell yourself that limit you or scare you, your worries, all of these things are the parts of you that your energy is screaming at you. This is what needs healing. If you feel like you're lonely, if you feel like You're not good enough. If you feel like you're missing some piece of the puzzle that other people are finding, those are the parts of you that need healing. If you if you are able to be introspective and identify what's going on, and bring it to the surface, and have an emotion about it, be angry or be sad, then you're going to process it. If you have things about your thought process, or your emotions, that you don't feel like you're getting anywhere with them, you felt this way for a long time, and you kind of feel stuck, kind of feel stuck in your sadness, you kind of feel stuck in your worry, you kind of feel stuck in your anger, You kind of feel stuck. You kind of just, you're trying to find your way in the world. Sometimes what you need is a professional energy healing. So if you feel stuck in some way and you are interested in having energy healing with my business with Orange Light Energy, Healing with Metatron, reach out to us on the website. We can clear trauma, we can clear blocks, we can heal chakras, we can do, we can pull up past lives, we can do all kinds of things during a healing. So if you feel like you need that level of support, that is an option for you. There are ways to get a lot of it done yourself. But if you feel stuck, there are options. Okay, so that is this deck. He only wants one card from this one. Gosh. Oop. I feel like, did you want this one? 
Oh, okay. So I'll show it to you first. It says possibilities. From here, it looks like someone is opening a little treasure chest and things are coming out. Looks like butterfly and a bird and a fish and a, my goodness, there's all kinds of things. There's like people's faces. Fairy. And then there's a mirror. There's a mirror here. Okay. Do you want me to do just this card by itself? He does. Okay. It's tying back to the last message where I was talking about, um, oh, well, two things. One, it, would, it ties back into both of these cards. So it, it ties back into there are more possibilities and more possibilities and more opportunities for all of us than we are acknowledging, than we are seeing, than we are believing is possible. He's also, she's looking in the mirror. We're talking about being introspective. We're talking about being honest about what our thoughts are and where we are so that we can move past them, so that we can see more opportunities. Because if we are, if we have this narrow vision of who we are and what we are and what the world is, then that's all we have. That's all we see. We've got to take the blinders off to be able to see this world, which feels like it represents the spiritual world, to be honest. And same here, right? In order to open the box and release every opportunity, every possibility, every Every everything. Okay, so those all kind of went together. I didn't know that. Now I know. I have Oliver walking over here. Come here, buddy. You want to say hi? There's like zero room for him over here because I have 300 million. Oh my gosh, I probably, you're probably making my, can you say hi? Oh, did you guys see that? Are you angry? You have lots of feelings right now. Okay, I'm gonna put him. Don't kick me, don't kick me. I'm gonna put him down. Come here. I have to put you over here or else or else you're gonna land on all the cards, okay? Come here. There you go. Go, go, go. He's like tangled up in my cord. Alright, shouldn't have done that. Okay. One more. He still wants to be over here. There's no room. I have another deck. This is Star Dragons. He wants to do three cards from this. This, this one, this one. Okay, one. I love this deck. I love my dragon decks. We haven't used them in a while. I could use them every time and be quite happy about it. Let's see. Mm, this one? Really? All right. What else do we got? We need one more. These are nice and slippery, so he should be able to kick them on out for us. Is it one of these? It's like one of the ones that's stuck together. You want this one. Okay, that was it. You wanted the one on top. Okay, let's see what we have. Super shiny cards. Sorry, guys. Okay. It says, just let you see the picture. But it says independence, carving your own path, and sorry for the massive glare. We have culmination, completion, and renewal. Not sure if these are the words he wants or not. And we have choice, understanding consequences. So he wants some of these words, but not all of them, it feels like. Okay, let me look at these. So the first one was independence. Do you want me to look? You do want me to look at some of these words.
Okay. So these are all kind of combined together. I'm gonna hold them up for you. So you can kind of see the words. Uh oh, uh oh, Oliver. Oliver, come on, buddy, lay down. Sorry. Now hold these up for you so you can kind of see those words down at the bottom. So he's talking about carving your own path is the culmination of your choices. Your path, whatever, whatever path you're building out in front of yourself is, is just the culmination of all of those little choices that you've made, all of the yeses, all of the noes, all of the those past cards, he's going back to them again, all of the, you, you put all your options out in front of you and you pick from those options, right? Well, let's start off with first making sure that we have all the options. Let's not limit ourselves to just some of the options. Let's first have all of the options and then from everything, then let us choose what brings us joy and what lines up with our hearts. And all of those combined is your path. All of those combined give you your independence and your freedom because you're not free and you're not independent if you're only choosing from the options that someone else have, has told you is possible. You're a woman, so these are your choices. You're this age, so these are your choices. You live here. These are your choices. So if we're not limiting ourselves, if everything's open, not just from what someone else is telling us, but more importantly, what we tell ourselves from our own minds, that's freedom. That's independence. Okay. Nope. Okay. He's done with these. Very good. Okay, and I have one more deck, which is ha, my therapists, which is a play on therapy. Oh, gosh. And the cards are huge, so it's going to be just about impossible to get one out. He said he only wants one. Maybe he'll just flip it out for me. Okay, maybe if I do it this way. Somebody told me once if I do it the skinny way, it might be easier. This is really hard to do and hold up. You only want one? Okay. These are kind of stuck together, so this might be challenging. Okay, what do you want? This one? All right, this is the one he wants. Okay, so somebody somewhere needs this message. Whatever, I'm trying to read it in reverse. <laughs> Whatever you manage to do today will be enough. That's a message for me, too. I always have this long to-do list. This long list of things of I need. It would be really ideal if I could get all of these things done. What's this and this and this and this? But you know what? Whatever you get done today, that is sufficient. Merlin said it, so it must be true. This is everything I have for you today, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.